How's it going fellow Guardians? It seems as the year comes to a close it's time to collate what's wrong with Destiny 2 Forsaken and beyond under one roof with the hopes Bungie look at this and take at least some of this on board. If you agree with the points made and or believe the changes are needed and will benefit the game, consider supporting the video by dropping a like, subscribing and sharing. Since the release of Forsaken, Bungie has done many a right thing, but some things simply did not go the way they intended or the way they should have, namely exotics, seals, progression, strikes, factions, trials, gambit, seasonal updates, especially in season 5, and the most important of them all, the triumphs. Now I know what you're saying, wait a minute Chaos, you're pretty much saying the whole game is wrong, and yes and no, not exactly. The game itself fundamentally is good. But there are aspects of each point where I feel Bungie failed significantly to push the game further. So let's go through them and see why these aspects since Forsaken have failed. So let's start with exotics. Exotics in year 1 were pointless. They dropped so often it was ridiculous. Xur's fated engram was pretty much the joke of them all. Now Zer is pretty much a useless NPC who only caters for new players and has no real purpose unless a god roll RNG comes along with the items he's selling that's going to be useful. In fact 90% of the population that's playing right now probably doesn't even care for Zer anymore and Zer has become one of the useless NPCs that pretty much has become the whole game. Exotics now are so rare that they are pretty much forgotten about. You don't see them, you don't get them. Since the Black Armory update, more and more people have reported that they have increased the drop rate. I still don't believe divs have gone far enough. These should at least be attuned and do drop along with your Prime Engram. If you have a Prime Engram attunement, there is a chance that that can actually be an exotic on drop. This is proven as it did happen to me. I finally got my Ursa Furiosa. But with that said, I still believe that the exotic drop rate is just too bad. I know people that have only received one exotic since the release of Forsaken. This is pretty horrific in terms of RNG chances, so I feel at this point Zer should at least start to stock them so people can enjoy these weapons. Right now people are getting wrecked to left, right and centre and it's because they just don't have access to these exotics and it's really unfair on those spending all their time. This RNG system here with exotics just isn't fair and at this point I think Zer should really start to look into bringing year 2 exotics back. Not the Izan army ones, not the black army ones, but just the forsaken ones. I think he's been useless for enough time and now it's time for him to actually finally get some useful exotics. My favourite topic, seals, badge seals. They are the most horrendous thing you can actually go for. They are so RNG tied that anyone that says these are the greatest grind known to man, you are deluded beyond help because this is not a grind. RNG is not a grind, people. Seriously, this is not a grind. The fact that there is so much RNG involved in these seals is horrendous. I've handed in hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of stems to try and get the Niflheim Frost. And it's the only item I'm missing to get my Wayfarer seal. Now please explain to me why Tom, Dick and Harry has actually got it, who have managed to get one out of one and everything, and me, who has got hasn't got it, after thousands of stems, has earned it less. Grind is earned. Breakneck is a grind. Luna's Howl is a grind. RNG isn't a grind and this greatly diminished the importance and significance of these seals. The fact that they're not earnable but you have to wait for a loot box to decide whether you actually can get it or not is insane. So Bungie I hope going forward with the seals this will change because bringing loot boxes into progression seal achievements is just bad. This brings me on to my next topic, progression. The progression again is a random number generator. You have no control of how you can power up. 
You could end up being stuck at 600 for the rest of eternity if RNG hates you. There is nothing in the game that says, okay, on this day, because you've been so unlucky, you're going to get this and this item. In Destiny 1, you had the option to choose between armor and a weapon. You had an at least choice to decide which side of the spectrum your RNG is going to land on. In Destiny 2, you don't have that choice. You can end up with seven energy weapons in one week. Yes, that's happened to me. Seven energy weapons from my weekly challenges. Unacceptable. Totally unacceptable, and the progression system needs to be looked at. It's not fun, it's not rewarding. Yes, when you get something, finally, you got a sigh of relief and you're excited, but that's false excitement. Progression should never be tied to RNG. Did we learn nothing from Crisis Core? So Bungie, please, fix the progression. At the very least, when we're getting our challenges, give us an option between armor and a weapon. At least that way, if we have some way of narrowing it down and it still doesn't happen, well, then at least we've got a bit of option. Right now, there is no difference in the progression system coming from these NPCs and Tess Everest. They are a loot box that essentially has a chance of giving us what we want. One is paid for, the other one isn't. Loot boxes are bad. Change it. There's no new Vanguard gear. There's no new Crucible gear. There's no new strikes. No Crucible maps. Nothing. I mean, Season 5 brought nothing. In fact, Season 5 was probably the driest season of them all. It pretty much laid the foundation for the DLC and they forgot about everything else. Where's the factions? Where's Trials? Where's the new Gambit maps? I mean, where are all these things that are supposed to be here with every season release. They focus on the DLC, I understand that, but at this point, by focusing on the DLC to give us more content, you've given us 10 times less. You've given us no new strikes, no new story missions, no Vanguard gear to run after, no Crucible gear to run after, no new trials, no factions, no Gambit modes, no gambit maps, no gambit armor, no gambit weapons, no new vanguard weapons, no new crucible weapons. You can see where I'm going with this. Season 5 is a barren shell. It's just the season of the forges with the DLC. They may have just, they should have just called it the season of the DLC because if you don't have the annual pass, there's very little here for you. The dawning event is fantastic by and large how every event should be and is the standard to be set, but even that has some minor problems. The farm has completely been ignored now. I mean, what's the point of the farm now? They might as well just remove it from the game at this point. They couldn't even be bothered to decorate it with snow. I mean, that's how bad it is. The strikes in last year's outing, you could throw snow at the enemies to gain increased damage. It was fun. You even have an emblem already in game tracking this shit. They could have added an extra tier onto the emblem. 2017, this is how many snowballs you threw. 2018, this is how many you threw. It's fun, it's something to do. It would add an extra zing to the event. But no, again, they went full lazy and gave you the bare minimum in terms of that sort of content. But the dawning event itself with the whole Eva's oven, Eva Levante returning, the sparrow, the treats being baked, going out into the open world, killing enemies with certain weapons and different weapons and different styles to get the ingredients. All of this was great. So I'm not going to distract that from the great dawning event. I think it's one of the best events that have happened in Destiny 2. So I'll give it that. But there is, it's left a lot to be desired considering this stuff was already in the game from last year. No reason to remove it other than the fact that they either run out of time or were lazy to do so, and if you look at Season 5 in general, it pretty much tells you that all they did was work on the DLC and said fuck everything else. That's my opinion anyway. It's why we don't have factions or trials at this point. So when you take it all into consideration, exotics going from dropping like candy to pretty much never dropping ever again, the RNG of the seals, the RNG progression, no crucible gear, no strike gear, no new maps, no factions or faction rallies or anything. No trials. And trials is one of the easiest things to fix, Bungie. Trials of Osiris from Destiny 1. Just literally lift up that game mode, take it to Destiny 2, and place it down. 
3v3 elimination with the same boons, the same cards, it's done. I mean, this is fixed. This is what people want. If you're not going to do 3v3, make it 4v4. It's fine. But elimination, and that's it. That's how trials should always have been. If Brother Vance did one thing right, it was Trials of Osiris. So Bungie, the fix is there. Everyone wants the if elimination mode to come back. Just bring it back. You have Gambit. They've done a lot of changes to Gambit. Primevals now take longer to kill. Linear fusion rifles are becoming less and less desired as meta weapons. People are coming in, but still not enough people are coming in with supers. So if you're reading this and you see me playing against you, jump in with a super. It's the only thing I need now for that RNG dredge title. So uh, yeah, just remember that guys, yeah, cool. The last topic I wanted to touch on was the Triumphs. In Destiny 1 you had the Book of Triumphs and so forth and what I liked about these from Destiny 1 was the fact that when you got to the first page of the book you could see the items that were available for you to get. You could see the progress you needed to make and what you needed to do and how much you needed to earn and how much you needed to accomplish before you got said rewards. Fast forward that to Destiny 2 and I think the fact that people wanted triumphs went to the heads a bit too much. They've oversaturated it so much it's now became another object of don't care. So at present I have about what 40,000 points, 50,000 points, somewhere between there. I can't remember off head. However, it means nothing. I get the occasional emblem here and the occasional shader here, but there is no direct progress to actual rewards. And even when there are rewards, these should be nice rewards because you're actually putting effort into earning these through progress of the Triumph book. But like everything else, when it comes to shaders, when it comes to emblems, the Triumphs also suffer from the same problem. They've become oversaturated. The reason why they were so successful in Destiny 1 was because they were tied to a reward timeline. And this reward timeline is clearly missing here in Destiny 2 and hopefully with the future triumphs that come along maybe they can do something like this going forward because as of right now like many no one cares about the triumphs and it's a shame because it's something we wanted and at the same time we got something we didn't want so Bungie please look into this and hopefully you can improve on the system that you have the fundamentals as you can see me listing everything is here and the core game is great don't distract that from what this video is trying to say it's great but there's room for improvement and there's room for ways for you to improve the system and reward the players that play your game well i think if bungie get this right in season of the drifter which i'm really looking forward to by the way because i do find the drifter highly fascinating they could be in the best place yet but sadly, I feel these changes will ultimately come with the expansion expected later next year in September. Well guys, you let me know in the comment section below what you think about exotics, seals, progression, strike gear, crucible gear, gambit gear, new maps, factions, trials, and everything else that's basically, in my opinion, lacking. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? If you don't agree with me, tell me why. I find it quite interesting to hear other views. Anyway. Air your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Have a Merry Christmas. And until next video, remain legend.